Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about the periodic table and how you can figure out ion charges. The periodic table can be helpful when you want to know what type of ion is formed by a given atom. To begin with, a cation is a positive ion formed when a neutral atom loses an electron. An anion is a negative ion created when a neutral atom gains an electron. Also remember, metals will always form positive ions, and nonmetals will create negative ions. Okay, the group 1A metals all form 1 plus ions. Group 2A metals all form 2 plus ions. And group 3A metals all form 3 plus ions. So for groups 1 through 3, the charges of the cations will be the same as the group number. Now, in contrast, most of the transition metals form cations with various positive charges. For these elements, there is no easy way to predict the charge of the cation that will be formed. Okay, remember, metals form positive ions and nonmetals form negative ions. Okay, let's jump over to 7A. All group 7A nonmetals form one negative ions by gaining one electron. All nonmetals in group 6A gain two electrons and create two negative ions. In group 5A, the nonmetals in arsenic have a three negative charge. Group 4A has carbon, so you may see it labeled as negative four, excuse me, four negative ions and four positive ions. And finally, the noble gases have a zero charge. So again, metals always form positive ions called cations, and nonmetals form negative ions called anions. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone.